American Farm Review is a national platform where nature, science, and technology meets, where developments in agriculture and the important issues facing consumers and industry take center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the agricultural innovators. This editorial series, featured on national television, singles out advances from the laboratory to the farms. I'm Morley Safer. Not all advances in agriculture involve the actual tools of the trade. Issues such as land management, new trade agreements, food and drug administration guidelines all play a critical role. Here's an example. Throughout history, farmers have sought out new ways to improve their yields and productivity. In the dairy industry, the yield margin has become an issue of viability for many farmers. They're often hard-pressed to fight the rising production costs of maintaining a healthy herd. Those costs have risen significantly since the 1960s. The costs of producing milk for the feed, the supplies, the labor, all costs associated have gone up 500 percent, but the price that the farmer gets in real dollars has actually been cut in half. And so that has forced the economic challenges to a dairy farmer to make a living. Just as many dairy farmers were beginning to question the future of their operations, a big advance in biotechnology allowed scientists at Monsanto to reproduce a naturally occurring growth hormone to help increase milk production. The supplement is known as RBST, or in commercial form, as Pozolac. It results uh, in a yield improvement of at or near a gallon of milk per cow a day. Uh, this results in a net increase uh, uh, in income of about $175 a cow a year. And the advantage of this across the whole dairy industry is this same $175 can be had by both the small uh, and the large dairyman because there's no increase in his overhead. While many dairy farmers have seen milk productivity increase with the RBST growth hormone, it has not been without controversy. Some consumers are still hesitant about the use of biotechnology in food production. I think consumers have been uh, subject to some misleading marketing, which suggests that milk from RBST supplemented cows is somehow different or less safe or less nutritious than milk from unsupplemented uh, cows. The Food and Drug Administration, the American Dietetics Association have evaluated the science behind the use of RBST and they said there is no difference between the milk from these different kinds of cows. Dairy herds supplemented with the bovine growth hormone have also been evaluated by the FDA for overall animal health. On the issues of the animal well-being, the dairy cows treated with BST are healthy. If an animal is stressed or not healthy, it produces less milk and it's less efficient. BST causes exactly the opposite. Cows produce more milk and they're much more efficient in using nutrients. The milk goods produced today are some of the most reviewed and regulated commodities in the world food market. Recent FDA studies indicate there are also reasons to consider RBST as a means to promote conservation. BST is a natural control in the animal that allows the dairy cow to use nutrients more efficiently. Overall, cows use about 10% less nutrients, and that results in savings in terms of animal waste, in terms of the amount of soil that's needed, in terms of the amount of erosion that happens, the amount of water that's needed for the growing of the crop. All those are positive in terms of the environmental benefit. Every year it seems there are more demands on agriculture for greater productivity while cutting costs and conserving natural resources. New technologies may play a larger role in meeting those goals. 
while maintaining high standards for a safe and nutritious food supply. Our world is impacted tomorrow by the decisions we make today. American Farm Review will look at some of the best ideas from around the globe. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Morley Safer.